Hello, and welcome to another episode of Better Cocktails at Home. I'm Brian Johnson, and I'm hosting this in our bar, the Skeleton Key. And so we're making a simple drink on this episode. It's called the Black Hole. It's original of mine. And uh, the name comes from the garnish, as you'll see later on. Um, but real simple, and I really like the flavors going on here. So let's just get into it. So this is a tequila-based drink. Um, and I'm using like a reposado here. I'm going to do two ounces of Reposado Tequila. And into the mixing glass. Next up we have the Le Blanc, um, which is a fortified wine, if you will. And uh, we're gonna do one ounce of this. Now our third ingredient, uh, I'm using Aperol. Uh, it gives a little hint of citrus, uh, a little bit of bitterness, and adds some color to the drink. I'm going to do a quarter ounce of this, so small amount. And add that in. And then finally, uh, two dashes of grapefruit bitters. And I'm using the Bitter Truth here. Um, I believe there's a, a number of brands out there. Um, you know, find one that works for you, but that's the one I happen to have. So. Um, that's everything we're going to put into this. Like I said, it's real simple. Three ingredients, not including the bitters. Um, and now we're going to add our ice and then we're going to stir. All right. Now I want to stir um, 30 to 40 seconds or so. Gives it a chance to dilute, um, chill the drink as well. Um, gives you a chance to kind of look at it, see how the drink is uh, coming to fruition. Um, and something that I do sometimes, if I'm just for myself, get the taste as you go sometimes. And you can kind of see how the drinks are, are diluting. Now, if you're making drinks for guests, I probably wouldn't advise doing that. Um, but it's when it's for you or your spouse, I highly recommend it actually, just to kind of see how the ice impacts the drink, how it changes as you serve over you know 30 to 40 seconds. All right, that should be nice and chilled. So from here, I'm gonna strain this into a coupe. And the Aperol gives a nice, nice hue to it. Remember, for our stirred cocktails, we stir because the ingredients are clear. It helps the presentation. Um, and then now for the garnish. So I'm gonna garnish with a single Luxardo Maraschino Cherry. You wanna try to minimize any of the cherry syrup that gets in there. So just a little bit right in the middle of the drink. And then the drink's kind of a pale, slight pink tinge to it. And then when you add the cherry garnish, it kind of is this like black hole right in the center of it. So that's where the name came from. Um, so very simple drink, let's give it a try. It's kind of got some like cool flavors. It's something you don't really I think it's not your typical, you know, well, it kind of plays the Manhattan ratio, sort of. Um, the flavors are totally different than kind of a traditional Manhattan. Um, obviously, base spirit is totally different. So it's kind of a weird, like a little bit of bitterness from the Aperol and the, and the Lille. Um, yeah, it's got a nice color. The Aperol colors it a little bit. And then when you get that really um, deep black cherry in there, it's kind of a cool um, look to it, which is where the name came from, Black Hole. And so, yeah, I was super happy that this came out. Really simple. Um, hope you make it at home. And uh, if you do, let me know how it tastes. And I'd love to hear your feedback. So until next time.